Hey YouTube, it's Erica, and I've actually been trying to make a video for almost a week now, and I figured I'd do a quick one here just to sort of give you guys an update, because I had this really cool thing planned. But um, here, uh, we're in my office right now, and uh, there's like boxes and stuff everywhere. Basically, I've been building a new computer. Uh, th this thing is going to be like a beast. It it it's freaking huge. It's got wings. It's so big. <laughs> Actually, both sides come out over here, too. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. So, anyway, whenever I get a new computer, for the last, like, ten years or so, I've always built it. Um, and, oh, you probably heard Skype there. But, uh, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I've always built it myself. And, yeah, I, I have people help also sort of pick out, recommend, and, and whatever parts. This time, I didn't actually <laughs> check all of them completely myself, and... As a result, we've had a number of problems here. Uh, firstly, th this motherboard in here, I I've never had a motherboard that's not been an ETX, at least in a very long time. This one's actually EEB. I never even heard of that. It's, uh, I guess, you know, server style um, motherboard, uh, because if you can see here, I got dual CPUs going. And <laughs> that basically made it so that the case I had originally ordered, it, it didn't fit in. So that was the first thing that had to go back. Next was uh, the original CPU cooler, which actually, I got one of the boxes of those over here, uh, was the wrong uh, type. Uh, if you can see, it says LGA 1155. CPU, though, is LGA 2011. So, had to get new CPU coolers, and <clears throat> that, you know, caused another <laughs> bit of a delay. Now, though, everything's all put together. I try to power it on, and, yeah, watch this. The light goes on in there. I don't know if you can see red light. Um, and if I like press the power button, nothing. Nothing at all. Basically, <laughs> I looked online, and those CPUs that I showed you there, i7 uh, uh, 3930K, basically not compatible with, I don't know, where the, here, this is it, <sighs> motherboard box right here. Basically not compatible with the motherboard. Turns out it looks like Intel doesn't even let you, um, at least from what I'm seeing, uh, dual CPU the uh, i7s, which I didn't know that. And if that really is the case, that kind of sucks. But anyway, uh, long story short, they're not compatible with this motherboard, so I got some CPUs I can't use, and uh, I'm going to be ordering some Xenon CPUs, because that looks like it's the only thing that this motherboard takes. <sighs> Anyway, guys, when this computer does finally boot up, it's going to be the most kick-ass computer I've ever had. Uh, it, it's a beast. I don't know if you can see in there. Um, the RAM, if you add up all those uh, things there, uh, it's 64 gigs of RAM. I got down here, uh, well, you can't really see because they're all piled in, but there's four <laughs> solid-state drives in there that I'm going to be running, 1,200-watt uh, power supply. I forget the exact model of the uh, graphics card, but it's a decent graphics card, at least. Not maybe the absolute top of the line on, like, a lot of the other stuff. But anyway, guys, <laughs> I just wanted to, again, give you an update here. I actually, when I was putting the thing together, I don't know if I'm actually going to put that video up, but I, I filmed the whole process. I did it right here. But just, you know, since there's so many problems and had to redo several of the different things, I have way too much video. I was going to originally just speed it up and um, sort of show you the build process. I don't know if I'm going to do that anymore, um, so that's why you guys are getting this video. I'll definitely show you another one once everything's all running and the camera froze. I don't know why it froze. Anyway, guys, I don't know if this is working still. Oh, yeah, there it goes. There it goes. I don't know. It's paused. My phone's messing up. If you guys are seeing this still, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing, and I'll see you guys again soon.